Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to go over trees and how they can help us solve problems in Grasshopper. There's been a lot of requests about how the list um, buttons aren't reading the same as the um, the ones in our videos. And that problem is coming from the switch to the new version of Grasshopper. The the button that we use in the, in the old tutorials are called Divide and usually you would be able to locate that in Surface Utilities Divide Surface. The, the new version of Grasshopper, um, if you click on Divide Surface, the new version of Grasshopper has um, similar, a similar button. The only thing that's different on the, looks, on the outlook of it is that it has an S in front of Divide and the old button that doesn't exist anymore just has Divide. It should do the same, um, same thing as the old button does and we're going to test it out and using trees to figure out um, how it's reading it differently, reading the information differently. So we're just going to plug in the S and the U and V value. So it's now having the same inputs as the old button does. And I'm just going to make this full screen since we won't be needing Rhino um, so much. Um, this definition you can get from the Explode and Divide tutorial. Uh, it should be able to get you this far. And I just set multiple curves so we can get information. So to understand what how the button is reading, we're going to use a parameter viewer and a panel. And the parameter viewer can be located in parameters special parameter viewer. And I'm going to copy and paste this because we're going to be reading these two buttons. And I'm just going to input in the values. So it's saying that the old button um, divide has a hundred paths, and each path has four items. The uh, S divide has 200 paths and each item has two, va two I mean each group has two uh, items. We can also look at um, the information using a panel. So I'm going to grab a panel and copy and paste that. And put that also into points. Make it a little bigger. So you can see that's reading the same way. It's um, 100 paths. 99. Remember that Grasshopper starts at 0, so it's really 100. And each group has 4 items, just as the parameter viewer is telling us. And if we double click on parameter viewer, you can see that it's graphical um, representation of a tree. And it has 100 paths, and each path splits out to 4 items. And here it, has, it seems to be doubled because it is with 200 paths, and each path has 2 branches. So now we can see that um, how the divide button is reading it is very different. So that means when we try to use the list item to create our digrids, it's not going to be reading the same way. You can see now that um, if we zoom in just the panels and look reading the coordinates, that the first two numbers are the same, 10.051 and 20.02. These coordinates are the exact same ones. So we can also go to the second group and look at the 2 and 3 um, listing of the first group that they're also the same and so on if we go down the list so logically if we change the UV value to 3 so we can get um, 4 items in the first group we should be able to um, have the same grouping so I'm just going to change this to 3 and then reset the UV so now it has the same grouping, but the coordinates are no longer in the same order. That the first number is the same, and then but the second number, um, number one, is 13.633, and the first one is 20.02. So when we use the list item to create a digrid, it's not going to be a digrid. So we have to go back to one and figure out how we can ungroup these things and then regroup it as the as the original button did. I'm just going to delete that, delete that three. Uh, since this de uh, tutorials are going over trees also, I want to go over um, two other buttons. Um, if you go to logic, go to tree, and grab the graph tree. And the graph tree, if we plug it into P for points, and grab these parameter viewers, and just plug in the new inputs, and double click on this. It says now it's having four it has four hundred um, paths and each path has one item. 
which is saying that it added every add a branch to every branch, doubling what you had before. And this comes in handy if you want to make groups um, from your list. And the S allows you to um, pick if it's you want to add a branch to items that are null or um, the you the items that um, does not work out. So y we're not going to use graph for the tutorial to create our diagram, so we can just delete this. Another button that I want to go over is called the flatten tree, and this is something very useful that we've used before many times. Um, if we just input that into P and also grab a parameter viewer. You can see now that there's only one branch because if we double click on this it says one path and 400 items and if you look at the panel it only has one group and the whole group has 400 items in them and they're in the same order as the divide 10.051, 20.02, 10.051 19.957. So if we go all the way down to make sure it's still the same, the last items are in the same order as the divide button. So the trees help you under should be able to help us understand how the buttons are reading the information. And sometimes when we're creating definitions and we're not getting the output that we think we should get we need to go into the button and see how each button is um, viewing the information, how it's reading the information. And once we understand how the buttons are reading the information, we can then have a further understanding how to create the definition that we're shooting for. So I hope, uh, hope you enjoy the video tutorial and watch the next one so we can get the diagram. Thanks for watching.